Greetings. If you're receiving this message, it means you are an alien. And we want you to visit our planet and experience all the amazing things we have here. Things like powerful morning fuel. It's the best thing about waking up on Earth. And uh, eggplant, which is really, uh, well, uh, it's hard to explain, but, well, we also have things to bring home and show to your friends. Sound exciting? Well, set your course for the Milky Way galaxy because we want you to visit Earth. Hey, alien, when you look at our world all the way from wherever you are in the universe, you see this. But right now, when we look up to your world, all we can see is this. We call it sky. And it's really nice. And yeah, it's also really boring. But we have a special ingredient down here that lets us look at something like sky and see uh, a big cat, one who just had a birthday. Depending on where you go on Earth, people will see different things. But we all use the same thing to see it. We call it... INSPIRATION! It's the amazing Earth stuff that transforms normal things into amazing things. Here, I'll show you. This is a field of wheat, a popular source of fuel for humans. Pretty normal, but add some inspiration and BAM! It becomes a little square of cotton covered with chemicals that look like the field of wheat, but is somehow something more. Look closer. Whoa. Okay, next. This is a giant rock. It's, yeah, it's a giant rock. We call it mountain, but add some inspiration and BAM! It becomes a group of little humans with silky smooth skin. Actually, it becomes a lot of little humans with silky smooth skin because that was a really big rock. Let's do one more. Animals showing off is a common scene here on Earth, but when we mix it with inspiration, BAM! Humans are suddenly doing it too, except when they do it, it becomes something else. Something special that we call art. art. This weekend only, we've got art for everyone. Everything must go. We've got fruit art, serious art, boat art, weird art, smooth art, drippy art, funky art, funny art, coffee art, old art. We even have art for dogs. Come on down and get some art. Everything must go. This weekend only. Art. What is it? That's a good question. Because almost anything can be art. Like this. Is it art? No, it's just a mango. What about this? Bingo. A-R-T. Art. It can be so hard to tell the difference. Luckily, there is a human who can. I mean, they're the ones who make the stuff. We call them artist. L'inspirazione la trovo da tutte le parti, anche quando cammino, quando dormo. Чтобы найти вдохновение, я иду к людям. Вдохновение можно найти в себе. L'inspirazione la incontro nella natura. You find inspiration everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. 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 Travel helps me find inspiration because it puts me into the position of an observer. The reason artists is good at this is because they know how to find inspiration on Earth. And all they have to do is look. Looking begins when the light from something inspirational travels through the air and into the squishy balls in the front of the human's head. We call them eyes. The eyes capture the inspiration and prepare it for a journey towards the brain. But along the way, it comes into contact with something called... Imagination! Imagination is what processes the inspiration. Without it, none of this art stuff would even exist at all. Once everything hits the brain, the human receives an overwhelming sense that everything is cool. Anyway, seeing like this on Earth is pretty simple. All you have to do is land your spaceship somewhere cool, like here or here. And then, you know, just open your eyes. And it's right there, where the light from sun reaches the end of its long journey to Earth. Wait, it's easier to find inspiration on Earth when you listen to this. Yeah, we call it jazz. Do you see it now? It's here, in the animals. And the water. You can find lots of it in these things, too. We call them flowers. They're everywhere on Earth. At night, you can find loads of inspiration in the city. In the lights and the machines, especially the ones that move. You are moving in a direction you have never moved, on a planet you have never been. 
you have no idea what you are about to see or hear. え、Wherever artist eventually does find inspiration on Earth, they take a little piece of it away with them, and they bring it back to one of these. We call it studio. It's where artist goes to process the information with the help of... Imagination! Yeah, using a bunch of important artist tools. These can be almost anything, but the really popular ones are paint stick and popsicle stick, glue stick and stick which is just a stick, but when artist uses it, it can do anything. Same with this thing, we call it blank canvas. It's one of the most important tools for artists. It also comes in black. Earthlings love it. Whatever they use, artist just has to do a little bit of this and this and some of that to transform this into this, art. But what is the art trying to say? Earthlings have been asking themselves this question for a long time, because we really don't know. But if you listen hard enough, you might just hear an answer. Um, what are they all looking at? They are looking at you, silly. Me? Why me? Because you are a work of art. Art? What does that mean? Ah, it means you're special. Oh man, humans are weird. Oh, you have no idea. I have a friend who hangs out on a wall in a big room called museum. They have them everywhere on Earth. Humans queue up for hours just to get inside and look around, except Mondays. You can get famous if you live there, if they like you. If they don't, then you're lucky if they put you on the fridge. The fridge? Humans are ruthless. Oh, I'm just getting started. I have this other friend who lives in a park. I still recall the wondrous moment when you appeared before my sock. They take his pictures and put it on t-shirts, coffee cups, ties, mouse pads. I have another friend who is like a pile of metal in the middle of a parking lot. <laughs> Excuse me? I am a statement on loneliness and ambition. Yeah, whatever, man. Humans write articles about him and he cannot even read. His friends are crazy too. Weird. So anything can be art? It's just up to humans to decide? Yeah, pretty much. One day you're just a can of soup and then BAM! Nobody wants to eat you. They just want to look. Okay, so what is it that they're looking for? Oh, I actually have no idea, kid. Hmm, I wonder. You see, art is a complicated subject here on Earth. I mean, it can be almost anything, like a big rock, some colored water on a white square, but it has a life of its own. It has a voice, so it must be saying something. Art? Art. 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 Mi madre cuando cocina, está haciendo arte. Mi mujer cuando se mueve, está haciendo arte. El arte es pasión, dedicación a un objetivo. What art is trying to tell us is that there's more. There's so much more. There are entire universes full of colors that haven't even touched the squishy balls in our heads yet. And ideas that we've never had swimming around in our brains. And vibrations that have never crawled into our sound holes. Like this. Yeah, that's it. The kind of stuff that reminds us that Earth is a remarkable place where anything can happen, where our wildest dreams can come true. You see, art is the stuff that gives us the ability to share these amazing dreams with other life forms, like you. All you have to do is land somewhere on Earth, like here or here or here, and then open your eyes or whatever it is you use to let light into your brain. And when you find it, just break off a little piece and bring it back to your planet and make some art that you can share with even more life forms. So the next time you look at our world, or any world for that matter, you'll be able to see what we see, which is basically a universe that is exploding with inspiration. And yeah, it's all because of art. <laughs> <laughs>